Uh, this video is about the golf grip. Whether you're new to the game or you've been playing for ages, it's worth a watch to make sure that your hands are placed on the club correctly to give you the best opportunity to bring that club face nice and square when you want to hit it. So for me, we want to try and get it in two fashions. We want to try and have it in the most natural position for where my arms hang by my side and allowing the wrist to be able to hinge and work correctly during the golf swing. So you often hear about too much in the palms and the fingers or where the hands place, but let me break it down for you. So for me, if I just relax my arms by my side, my thumbs are just naturally slightly turning towards my pockets. And it doesn't matter what I do, they're always gonna come back to the same position. So I'm gonna to try to recreate that in the way that I hold the golf club. The other fashion I need to make sure is that I need to be in the fingers of my hand to actually allow to use my wrists. You know, if I gave you a tennis ball to throw, you would naturally hold it in the fingers and that would allow you to then get some leverage and a bit of wrist hinge as you're trying to release the ball, object, whatever you're trying to throw. So, as a right-handed golfer, these are right-hand instructions. If you are a left-handed golfer, you just need to swap the other hand round. But for me, being a righty, I wanna put my left hand on the top and what I need to do is feel like the grip itself is running through my fingers. So. It's running through the little uh, knuckle of my little finger across in a slight diagonal to the middle joint of my index finger. That then is going to allow me to get the fleshy pads, the palm of my hand, to sit on top so that my left thumb is slightly right of the logo that is on my club. To be honest, most grips are going to have a logo, hopefully they have, but you can see it's just right of centre. Now, if I do that correctly, I can see like two and a half to three knuckles. Depends on how big your hand is, but for me, I can see pretty much three knuckles. That I know is in the right place. I can feel I can hinge my wrists, and the old sort of Ben Hogan trick, I can now let go of my three fingers here, and it still holds in place. So I know that the pressure points are in the right place, and I've got the club nice in my fingers, I can use my wrists. Now, if I put it in the palm of my hand, so we quite often see the grip running through the palm, and, and if your glove is wearing away up here, that is a classic sign that you're not holding it correctly. And I try to do that sort of little trick with the old three fingers. If I let go, I can't then support the weight of the club and the club falls out of my hand. So nice, easy test to do when you get home tonight to make sure that you've got the uh, hand in the right sort of place. And then really just the opposite happens with the right hand. Now, I'm not worried whether you wanna be a baseball grip, whether you wanna do an overlapping grip, or an interlocking grip, it really doesn't matter. As long as the hand is placed in a, in a position that is natural, so if I relax my arm by my side, my hand is naturally just turned in. If I can recreate that, so again, in the fingers of my right hand, my thumb, my left thumb, sits in the nice little groove between the two meaty pads of my right hand, and then my right thumb would just sit left of center. Now for me, that feels nice and comfortable because I've done it for years and years and years. I'll be honest, if you don't grip it like this now, you're gonna find it very uncomfortable to start with. I promise you, with repetition of just trust in the process, it will start to feel more comfortable, more automatic, and you will start to be more consistent with your, uh, with your club face impact. The most common thing that I see, left hand tends to be okay, but a bit in the palm of the hand. It's definitely the bottom hand, which gets a little bit underneath, which can result in being what we call a quite a strong grip, which then would naturally want to close the club face down. We, of course, can do things to compensate during the golf swing. So even though we might not have a correct grip, we can manipulate the club face and do different types of shots. So if we get the left hand of the fingers and just right of center with the thumb, and the opposite with the right hand, that should hopefully give us the best chance to bring the club face back nice and square. But I just want to highlight a couple of things that happen. If we have a weak grip, Quite often what that means is that both thumbs are too far around to the left hand side. So if I do a weak grip and a, an okay golf swing, I'm not gonna say that my golf swing is a perfect golf swing, but in theory, if, if the grip was the only thing wrong with my golf game and I had it in a weak position, you're gonna notice that all my shots would go off the right hand side. Naturally, as I was bringing the club back to impact, my weak position would come back and the club face then would be open or to the, or to the right and therefore it would slice over. The opposite in theory would happen if I've got a, what we call a strong grip. 
So we'll put both thumbs too far around to the right. Naturally, with an okay golf swing, the club face is gonna come back pointing left. It's gonna hook the golf ball over to the left-hand side. So strong grip, okay golf swing. Everything goes off to the left-hand side. Now, you might be thinking, well, I've got a strong grip, and yet I don't hook the golf ball off to the right-hand side, a uh, left-hand side, should I say. I hit it way off to the right. Now, this is the thing. So I can have a strong grip, both thumbs too far to the right-hand side, and I can compensate down the bottom, i.e. at impact, and then do a completely different ball flight. So as much as the grip controls the club face, because obviously my hand's the only part that's on the club, we as golfers can do different things when we're coming into impact to manipulate the club face. What I'm saying is ideally you want to have a, a neutral grip to then be allowing yourself to bring the club back fairly square. But of course, your swing style and your grip style maybe right now match up together. If you do go down the road of changing your grip, you might then also need to change your swing style to therefore make your grip style work for that particular swing. So what I'm hopefully gonna do now, is show you a good one. Don't quote me that, I might have to edit this out, but with a fairly neutral grip and a fairly decent golf swing, he says. Oh, well, I'm not gonna edit it out, am I? I've done like six, seven minutes of a YouTube video. <laughs> so I'll do another one. That'll get me loads of dislikes. Here we go. There you go. See, can edit it straight with a good grip. So grip is important. Yes, grip styles can sometimes help you to do a desired ball flight. If you're looking to hit the ball left to right, fade it, then you might wanna have a slightly weaker style, both hands a little bit far around to the left. If you're trying to be a draw player where you're hitting it more off to the left-hand side, then a slightly stronger grip. But, especially if you're new to the game, try to go down the path of as much as it as being a neutral grip as possible and if you're an experienced golfer but you're struggling with different inconsistencies with ball flight, then maybe going down the road of a more neutral grip is gonna benefit you in the long run. Thanks for watching. You'll notice on my channel there are other videos to watch. I'm gonna talk about posture, body alignment, ball position, different golf clubs, whole series to help you out. So hit the subscribe button, give us a like if you like the video, and speak to you all soon.